Hey guys, David here with another tricking tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to do the backside nine. Here's what it looks like. So that is a backside nine. So there's a couple prerequisites for this move. But first, let me explain the tricking terminology behind the move. So the backside part of it, there's two stances in tricking, backside and frontside. So if you twist to your left, that's how I'm going to be explaining this. If you twist to your right, then just flip everything. So if you twist to your left, then when you put your left foot forward and your right foot in the back facing your target, that's backside stance. And then when you put your right foot in front and your left foot in the back, that is frontside stance. So the way I think about it um, is for left twisters, your right foot is the foot that determines what stance it's in. So when you're in backside stance, back side, your right foot is in the back. When you're in front side stance, your right foot's in the front. And of course, if you twist to your right, then it's going to be back side, front side, or whichever way. So the first kick that you've got to learn to be able to do a back side nine is called a front side seven. So we're going to start in front side stance. All we're going to do is we're going to jump up, and then with our left leg, we're going to throw a crescent kick. Looks just like this. Super easy trick. All you have to do, turn, look at your target, jump, bring your leg up. I'll show it to you one more time. Anyone can learn how to do that kick. Second kick that you got to be able to do is a front side nine. So. For front side nine, you're going to jump up in the air and turn and do a round kick. So here, round kick. Looks like this. Again, super easy kick. With a little bit of practice, you can get it down. So let me show you that one more time. Front side nine. All right, next kick is called back side seven. All right? So for back side seven, we're going to start in back side stance. And we're going to jump up in the air, and we're going to turn till we see our target. And then, with our left leg, we're going to throw a crescent kick. This move gave me a lot of trouble for a while because my problem with the move, I didn't realize this at the time, but looking back, my problem with the move was that I never spotted my kick, and I never chambered my leg. So what you really got to focus on with this kick is you jump up in the air, turn, spot your target, look at where you're going to kick, then bring this leg up and kick. So, looks just like this. Let me do that again. That was a really bad one. So that's backside seven. That one is going to give you a little bit of difficulty, but with a little bit of practice, you can get it down. Now, backside nine. This one, if you've done all the prerequisites, this should not be any more difficult for you. So, all you're going to do, you're going to start in backside stance, you're going to jump up into the air, and then turn, see your target after you make that turn, then take your right leg, and you're going to throw a round kick. So a really important part for this move is you have to use your arms to twist. With all the other kicks, the twisting kind of just came from the jump, if that makes sense. But for this one, when you jump in the air, you have to bring your arms in so that you twist. So when I jump, I go, and I twist faster. I'll show you that one more time. Watch what my arms do. I jump up in the air, and I bring them in. So for backside nine, you're going to jump in the air, twist, bring your arms in, turn, see your target with your right leg, kick. Another really important part, use your shoulders to lift up. So when you jump up, Bring your arms up, lift with your shoulders, because that's going to give you more height. So if you're having trouble with this, something you can do to build up to the backside nine, jump in the air, spin, and land with your right leg in the air, because that's going to kind of simulate the round kick. So I'll show you one more time, so you jump up in the air, and you land with your right leg in the air. So to show you the backside nine one more time, you jump in the air, twist, and kick. So guys, good luck with this trick. 
If you're having trouble with it, send us a DM on Instagram with a video of you doing it and we will give you some help with it. So, happy tricking.